Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and now it's time for something completely different with a combination I never thought I'd see. Monty Python and Zombicide? This is so cool. Zombicide have put out an expansion for the Monty Python's Flying Circus, and it's got all the miniatures that represent the characters that they featured in the TV series. All the funniest sketches are included and they're going to be splitting up the models into some survivors and some enemies. And you're also going to get new equipment and a mission as well that's all themed around the show. It's even got that giant foot. I've got to say a big thanks to Billa2720 on YouTube who made a comment on one of my Warhammer videos letting me know that they bought this Zombicide expansion. I'd never heard of it so if they didn't comment there I don't think I would have. But this is fantastic. What a great idea and I knew as soon as I saw it I had to make a video about it. This is going to be a pre-order product. It says on their website that it's going to be on some crowdfunding platforms, but you can order it or pre-order it directly on their website. It's not going to be out though until I, th I believe April 2024. So a little bit of a wait, but let's have a look at all the different models that are included, starting with Arthur Nudge. And I guess all the images we're going to be look at are going to be digital rendered images. So they're not going to be the quite what we're going to see when we get the models. Usually these are more crisper than the models themselves. But still, the character's going to come through. You're going to get the detail on the faces and things. So it's not going to be too far off. Here's another one, the Silly Walker. Not just one, you get all the Silly Walkers in here as well. There's a load of miniatures altogether. It says there's 21 and there's going to be altogether six survivors, seven zombies, and eight abominations. You've got the Spanish Inquisition. There's going to be three different models there. And it's good how they've done it on the website. They tell you the sketch it comes from, the episode, and then who played those characters as well. I should also point out that this isn't a standalone game. This is an expansion, so you will need Zombicide 2nd Edition core box to play it. But there's even a blancmange recipe on the website there, and there's still more characters to look at. Here we've got Hell's Grannies. There's going to be four different models here. So just insane characters. The show's brilliant. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend having a look at it. It's really cool. And then you've got the Undead Parrot, this famous sketch, the Dead Parrot sketch, which was in Series 1, Episode 8. Then we've got coming up, the fish slapping dancer. This is probably one of my favourite ones. This just looks awesome. It'd be so cool to just get these for other games and get them painted up and include them in your own games that you play or other skirmish games. You've got the nude organist. I don't know what that's going to do, but yeah, it's going to be really funny, I imagine. And then the foot, which looks massive compared to all the other models as well. So that's going to be great fun just to have a giant foot's call, but actually having it from Monty Python, even better. As with all these kind of pre-orders, there is a pre-order exclusive, so you can get this Gumby set as well. So you'll be able to get that with a bunch of other models in there. It's going to be six models in this set, so if you pre-order it, you will be able to get hold of these too. Now, price-wise, this is going to be $50 to pre-order, and then I believe that's going to be about £40. So for all those models and for the theme, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's not bad, is it? You get all the cards in there as well. And if you can get that expansion included, I think that's got to be worth it. But I didn't go through all the miniatures. There's many more, including the John Cleese fish slapping variant. So here we are. And then you click on that in a minute. We'll have a look. You've got Michael Palin as the lumberjack. So that's a really famous one. Then there's Terry Jones from the musical My Sketch as well. All up, a load of really interesting miniatures, something that I'd never expected would happen. I never thought we'd see Monty Python miniatures on the tabletop. I'm just having loads of ideas to include them in different games. It'd be really funny just to randomly bring it out at the club, and I think people would love it. I think it's going to come for a certain age group, though. But um, yeah, if you remember the series or you've seen it, I'm sure you're going to really appreciate what they've done here. But there's a video on the website if you want to go and check that out. And that's really funny. It's just worth watching for a laugh. Really cool how they introduce what they've done with this pre-order set. And you've got to respect whoever made this video. We've gone from armed walkers to something completely different. Now we're going to get silly walkers. So just genius. Really well done. And yeah, what a great video to introduce a product. I think there's a lot of fun behind this and it really shines through. If you'd like to find out more about this and maybe even pre-order it yourself, I'll put a link in the description down below. That's going to take you right to the CMON website. That'll give you all the information. You can watch this video, have a good look through, close-up look at what the models are going to look like, find out more about what's included. So yeah, that's the place to go and check this out. And also, I didn't know that Zombicide did Thundercats, did you? That's crazy. How could I have ever missed that? I was looking on the website after this just to see what was available, and I found the Thundercats set. 
I knew that they'd done all different expansions, even Western one, which my boy really likes the look of. We tried that out at the UK Games Expo. It was really good fun, so I'm sure we'll be getting that soon. But there were some other ones in there, Marvel as well. I'm not really a fan of that. I don't know why. It just doesn't really work for me. But Thundercats, that's a totally different story. But there's three character packs all together, apparently. And you can find these on different game stores online. And I found them on Amazon as well. The models aren't super crisp and brilliantly detailed, but still... They are Thundercats, so that's awesome. If you want some Thundercats miniatures for the tabletop, I'll put a link to those Amazon products so you can have a closer look. If you think Thundercats are cool, I also found Ghostbusters. How mad's that? Now, these are a pre-order. It looks like they're sold out. Uh, you might be able to get them when they're actually released, so if you want to find out more about that, it's all on the CMON website with the link down below. I must say, I'm not a huge fan of the Zombicide rules. It's fun to play the game, but the miniatures in there, what a great way to get a load of zombie miniatures for your own games that you play. Maybe play other skirmish games. I'm working on one right now, a zombie game called Population Z, so I'll certainly be looking to get models from some of the other sets for that. I've got a load of Zombicide. I featured it here on the channel a few times as well. But um, yeah, a great way to get models. And I'm loving how they're doing these different partnerships now and getting the licenses for different things. But Monty Python, that's completely off the wall. Really didn't expect that. And so cool that from that, I discovered Ghostbusters and Thundercats too. Anyway, that's enough from me on Zombicide. Hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think about these in the comments section down below. Also, let me know what you think about Zombicide in general. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But for now, thanks again for watching. If you did like the video, it'd be great if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.